In this video, we're going to take the three gas laws that we've learned about, Boyle's law, Charles' law, and Gay-Lussac's law, and put them all into one combined gas law equation called the combined gas law. So we know that Boyle's law shows the relationship between pressure and volume that indicates an inverse relationship, meaning when you increase the pressure, the volume goes down, and vice versa. Charles' law and Gay-Lussac's law are direct relationships between, for Charles, volume and temperature, and for Gay-Lussac's, pressure and temperature, where when you increase the temperature, a gas will tend to expand against a constant pressure. And for Gay-Lussac's law, you have, if you have a constant volume container, like a steel canister, and you increase the temperature, the pressure of the gas is gonna go up due to the increased kinetic energy of the molecules. Now, each one of these holds a variable constant. So in Boyle's law, you have temperature as a constant. In Charles's law, you have a, against a constant pressure, like if you were doing it in a room where the air pressure outside isn't gonna change. And then Gay-Lussac's law, you're holding volume constant. Now, sometimes all of these variables can change, so you could have volume, temperature, and pressure changing. And that would be an instance in which you'd want to use the combined gas law, which is listed here. It shows the um, inverse relationship between pressure and volume, and the direct relationship between pressure and temperature, and volume and temperature. Again, if two variables are right next to each other in an equation, that implies an inverse relationship, where if they're on the opposite sides of the line, then they're going to be a direct relationship. So let's do an example problem where we look at all of these variables changing. So we'll say a balloon that rises in altitude, right? You're gonna have a different pressure, you're gonna have a different temperature, and its volume is gonna change as a result. So the sample problem I put up here, a balloon occupies a volume of 14.3 liters at STP. Now STP is a set of conditions where you're at zero Celsius or 273 Kelvin, and you have a pressure of one atmosphere, which if written in kilopascals is 101.3, 101.32 kilopascals. So it occupies 14.3 liters at STP. You release the balloon, it reaches an altitude where the pressure is 71.2 kPa, and it has a temperature of negative 10 degrees. And what would the new volume be? So what we have to do here is we're gonna rearrange the combined gas law to solve for the final volume. We have all of the other pieces of information, and I recommend that you put them in a table like this where you list out the variables that are provided. So an initial pressure, initial volume, initial temperature, final pressure, final temperature, and we're looking for the final volume. Once we rearrange the equation, we get V2 is equal to P1, V1, T2 over T1 times P2. And all we have to do is plug in the variable, plug in those values, and we see that the volume ends up being 19.6. Um, liters and the units that would cancel out obviously here kilopascals cancels out Kelvin cancels out and liters is what you're left with and since you were given it's all multiplication and division here the lowest amount of sig figs you were given in the problem is three therefore your answer should be reported to three sig figs so this um, combined gas law and really you can ex use this exclusively when you're solving problems just whatever values held constant, leave it out. So if we were doing a problem and we saw that we were given a changing pressure and volume but the temperature was constant, just cover the T and you end up with Boyle's Law. If the pressure is remaining constant, then you just cover the P's and you end up with Charles' Law. And if the volume remains constant, just cover that up and you're left with Gay-Lussac's Law. So this really can be used for solving all of these. However, I still expect you to recognize the relationships that are present between the variables in it and what law they represent.